All right, we finally made it. We're here with Bob from Bob's Balls, and we are gonna look at some snakes. Come on. Let's see if Ryan's ready. I'm up. Are you sleeping in there? What's going on? Maybe he's not home. Hmm. Are you awake? <laughs> you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> And all right, so what is that? Super Orange Dream NG Yellow Belly Pie. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can tell with the head stand. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, even with the size, you can see how how the orange just maintained. So bright. Yeah, it's great looking. It still has that kind of like look where the head kind of looks like it doesn't mm -hmm. belong with the body. Yeah, this head doesn't belong with this yeah. with this color at all. That's funny that it retains that. Yeah. Really cool, man. Hatch that one last year along with a few, a few siblings, but let me show you. So let's check this out. No one has one of these, so that helps. I think there's very few of these. So this is a GHI Enchi Pine. GHI Enchi Pine. Yeah, this animal came out a lot different than I expected it to. It's really dark, uh, and it's actually gotten darker and darker on the blacks. And this has gotten brighter every every shed. So I'm really interested in seeing this into a super, uh, super GHI or super NG. Um, so I think that'll be fun. A lot of my collection is kind of built around pies because that was my first big investment was a pie. Uh, that was my first five thousand dollar snake that I, that I bought was a pie. So that's where a lot of my projects is kind of lean towards. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. I showed him this snake, but I didn't show it on camera. I don't think. Not yeah, you got close, close up. up on that. Sure. So he's also 100% head hypo. And what is that? This is the Orange Dream NG Pied head hypo. Um, I, I really think the super form of this, the Super Orange Dream NG Pied in a hypo version, is going to be super clean. It's going to take away all the brown on top. So. Yeah. And he'll be ready to breed in a few months. Cool. Let's see here. Let's check out some cinders. This is a Mojave blackhead cinder. Ooh. So he'll be ready to breed soon and we'll be able to make the super form of him. And the cinder is a gene into itself? Or? Yeah, cinder is a, so I'll show you a single gene cinder. So this is Mojave blackhead cinder. You take, sure. take a hold of him here for me and I'll take a single gene cinder out. So this is the single gene cinder by itself. Um, it's kind of a darker gene that uh, resembles the mahogany a little bit. It's just in the combos, you can clearly tell the difference because uh, my buddy made the blackhead Mojave mahogany and it doesn't look anything like this. Okay. Um, so in the combos is where it shows up a lot. And the cinder, the cinder has a super or no? Yes, it does and it's almost jet black. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's an uncommon gene, for sure. Yeah, that's real cool. We'll talk about those at some point. <laughs> yeah, I actually made the red stripe cinder right here. Oh man. Yeah, so here's a wow. red stripe cinder. And that's a single gene cinder, red yep, stripe. Single gene, red stripe, and single gene cinder. That's wow. It. So they're both pretty subtle mutations, but together. They but together, then subtle. it's really strong, yeah. yeah. By wow. itself, it didn't really do much, and then together, it's pretty strong because red stripes pretty subtle too in my opinion by itself anyways 
It's one of those ones you can have like red stripe that almost looks normal. Yeah, here's another red stripe. This is red stripe and cypress. This one's in the shed. Um, but I'll have to I'll take out the red stripe cypress combos in a little bit for you. This is red stripe and and cypress, but I'll that I'll take a few. Well yeah. Actually, uh, you're, you're still filming. You film the uh, let me pull out a super cypress for you. These guys literally hatched yesterday. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So this is the super form of the Just cypress. hatched. Wow. I've never seen that before. Yeah. That's crazy. That's great looking. Yeah, two female super cypresses out of this clutch. Wow. I, feel yeah. I may be out of the loop, but I didn't even realize they had a super. Yeah. That's really nice looking. Really, really That's nice. I, li I like that it's so dark right here. It's just so dark. And then that really accent on that top stripe, I like. So Man. that is the Super Cypress. Very cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> so this is an albino scaleless. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It feels like silky smooth. You can just touch them. Yeah. Wow. We, uh, and they're very, very light. I don't know that the camera can even pick up. <laughs> they're almost like see-through. Yeah. In the head. That's cool. Not a lot of uh, these around. No, no. <laughs> and I actually got lucky and we had three of these in one clutch, so. Yeah, Definitely. that's some pretty good odds. We're shooting for some uh, As far as like recessive scaleless goes, there's only like, what, what pie has been made? Uh, pie has been made, the albino has been made. I'm working on a clown. Um, I don't think there's been an Xanthic, but I know my buddy has the had a Xanthic breeders. Mm -hmm. So, but there hasn't been an Xanthic yet. Uh, let's see in this rack, what's fun. I showed it to him, but I want to show it on camera because this I think this is a pretty cool combo. Yeah. Just because the head is so whacked out. That's an orange stream super enchi clown. Mm -hmm. That head stamp's crazy. Hmm. Hatched, uh, hatched three of these. Um, we shipped one off a week ago. This is a black pewter red stripe cypress. Man, that works really well together. I, I didn't think a lot about cypress, but these, like the combinations are. Yeah, some of the cypress combos oh we've made this God. year just out of this world there's just so much coming so much happening here man it's dirty bellies like the low sides yeah. there are just really cool actually you know what we made a cypress hypo combo it's really cool right here that's cool He's such a butt though this is a little, lot of personality on him so that's a black pewter uh hypo cypress wow that's great the contrast that's is nice crazy the head and Dang. he's starting to get some size so hopefully we'll get him breeding in about two to three months so now we gotta buy our cypress stuff <laughs> <laughs> here is a mojave hypo cypress and you said you don't like hypo <laughs> Ryan uh, is not much into the hypo, but some stuff it just really works well. Yeah, in some combos it works perfectly, and then some you don't see it as much as, as, as the lower expression and stuff like that. Um, okay, this girl just ate, but she looks pretty good. Oh yeah. So if you haven't done Orange Dream with Calico, yeah, I would oh, say man. it's a must. So that's orange, uh, super orange stream calico yellow belly. That's beautiful, man. Yeah, oh comes, it creeps goodness. up all that orange. That's super yeah. nice. creeps up all that white. Dave Levinson, I hope you're watching. <laughs> this is the dumpster fire. <laughs> yeah, the this is the dumpster fire. fire. <laughs> dumpster fire is a little bit better than the campfire. <laughs> that thing is gorgeous, man. That's crazy. Super. Jot that down, Super OD. <laughs> Super OD Calico, Calico yellow, yellow Belly. Belly. I got it. We have everything to make that easy. Yeah. It's not a super complicated, just like the campfire, it's not super complicated, it's just like no one thought about it ahead of time to make it. 
Yeah. So, I, mean, I mean, I love super gravels. Good Lord, that's a big meal. I gave her a large meal, but she'll be fine. This is a pastel super gravel. I'm actually happy. Finally, it hats a female. I've been hatching boys and boys and boys, and finally hatch a female one of these. So I finally <laughs> something for me to keep. We don't have any super gravels yet. That's a good yeah. combo, I, in my opinion. Um, I'm so behind on my chocolate stuff. Uh, I have one chocolate pin head clown, and then that's it. I'm super behind on it, but we are too. Trust me, we'll, we'll catch up. We were the into chocolate, chocolate for a while, and we got a couple cool chocolate things. And then we kind of got out. So behind. And it was silly for us to get we out. Didn't even, the problem was we didn't have a vision for what we wanted to do with the project. So we we're like, why are we holding on to this chocolate female? Yeah. And now we're like, oh, because. It's great, that's why. <laughs> so when I said I was trying to catch up on the Cypress clown stuff, I picked up this male. This is a Cypress spot nose, cinnamon, Mojave, yellow belly. 100% head for clown. Oh, that's mm -hmm. pretty powerful. So. It's real powerful. Yeah, it helps me catch up a little bit on that project. It's almost like pink. Actually, I saw a picture of it and I wasn't impressed. And then when he shipped it to me, I'm like, wow. <laughs> it's like 10 times better in person, which is how most snakes are. But yeah. let's uh, check out some voodoos. Yeah. Sure. Voodoo. All right, so this is a single gene voodoo. Hmm. We'll just like kind of line it up. Yeah. So this is a single gene voodoo. That's a noisy moist. Very noisy, very granity. Noisy moist. Um, the only thing that is almost on every voodoo is the tail is almost al almost always striped like this. Okay. Um, you have this tail stripe almost every time. You can see how much granity it's a, it is on the sides. It's really almost but, looks like she wants to run. Yeah, no, he's, he's on the move. Yeah. And then yeah. I'll show you the single combo of this, the lesser. Wow. So this is the lesser voodoo. Look at that. Again, it has this tail stripe. And you, you can compare this to any single gene lesser and see how much different it is. All oh, this granity totally on the sides, all the alien heads look totally different. And it just really changed the snake up. Lots of dorsal striping. Yeah, a lot of change. Uh, I have this a little bit bigger also. Let me see. Yeah, I have a bigger voodoo here. She's starting to get some size. But let me see. Oh, well, she's gone. Um, yeah, I have a lesser voodoo I held back for myself, but gosh, she's in deep, deep, deep shit when you guys decide to come over. That happens uh, to us all the time. Yeah. <laughs> the, the tail stripe usually connected, and then she's just super granity and super... I love how it changes the color yeah. inside the alien heads. Yeah. yeah, just all that's changed up. Let me show you the original founding father that I paid $25 for. <laughs> uh, so this is the original voodoo male. Wonderful change, but that's the original voodoo male. Um, came in as an African import. Um, I just noticed the a lot of granite on the side. This tail, like I said, it's just this connected tail pattern. And I was looking at the sides of the snake, and I'm like, this resembles. Um, I was looking at it like the Grim Reaper project, the Grims. Uh, it reminded me of a few projects already at the time. So I went ahead and bred it out to a few animals to see what it did, and it did reproduce itself. And in the combos looked pretty weird. Um, I did compare it to the Nanny and the Grimms, and it had a lot of different expressions into the combos. So I decided to call it the Voodoo, because Bob Voo. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, Bob Voo from Bob Voo's Balls. Bob Voo's Balls. <laughs> Uh, let me show you, in my opinion, one of the nicer combos. It's in shed, but it still will look pretty good. Um, so this is the Mojave Voodoo. It's a lot dark. It showed up a lot darker than the others, even though it's in shed now. But you can see it's connected tail pattern from here to here. Mm -hmm. The dorsal is connected, and it's just a lot darker onto this Mojave. That's super dark. Even though it's in shed, even though it's in like, shed, you can tell it was shed out really dark. Yeah. So, is this the first year you're making combos with it? Yeah, this is gonna be my first year breeding this male, or first year getting babies from him. Uh, the first clutch I hatched of him was in January, and then that's when 
I only bred him to one girl because again, you don't want to waste all your girls on a male Absolutely. that you don't know will prove. Bred him to one girl. We got all the babies looking like him. Um, so I bred him to three other girls. Um, one one of the clutches went bad, and then we got the lesser clutch, the Mojave clutch. And uh, now we're breeding him to a leopard clown. We're breeding him to a few other projects oh, cool. to kind of get that into some recessive projects. Um, and we get to see coming up soon, in a couple of years, if there's a super. If there's a super, hopefully. Um, but these females right here, I mean, this fe I mean, I held back a single gene female. She's already, and this is this year's baby. These are all this year's babies. Um, they're getting size on them, so in about another that's 12, really exciting. To, you know, 12 to 18 months, we'll figure out there's a super. That's cool, man. It's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting when you, you know, a project pans out for you. And, you know, we pick up a wild caught animal and then it pans out. I do it every now and then. I'll go to uh, some of these importers and uh, pull out these $20 normals. Um, and you sit on them for that's the question this, mark yeah on. this is the female this is the female yeah i picked up this female as a just a normal out of an imported <laughs> box uh it was out of a box of imports it was like four thousand normals in there and then i was like that's pretty cool i'll give you 20 20 bucks for it and now you sit on it for two years and you figure it out with the female so you'll be sitting on it a little bit and ryan it out. we should probably do that i've been telling you you never <laughs> listen to me So on this section of highlighted morphs, we're gonna talk about the desert ghost. Um, this is a single gene adult female desert ghost. Uh, as you can see, even at 1800 grams, she retained color really well. The pattern stays really clean. This is what I like about desert ghosts and it's become my favorite recessive because the way that they hatch is pretty much how they'll look as an adult. A lot of ball pythons, they hatch beautiful and then they start to lose color, color every shed. And then by the time they're an adult, it looks nothing like the baby. Uh, this girl looked just like this when she was 100 grams and now at 1800 grams, she maintained color really well and really angry at me right now. <laughs> so this is the single gene. Let me show you a combo. So I'm gonna show you a lemon blast desert ghost. Lemon Blast tends to brown out pretty bad as an adult. This is a about 17, 1600 gram Lemon Blast Desert Ghost female. Uh, she's in shed, you can tell from her pink belly, but I just want to show how clean and how bright they stayed at this size. I mean, even at this size, she stayed so bright and it prevented all that browning that happens on regular There's Lemon Blast. no stipple on the top. Yeah. I mean, on a regular Lemon Blast, all the sides will have turned a goldish brown already and, and look at her i mean she stayed neon just neon yellow it's yep. really good quality and lemon blast is a pastel, pastel pinstripe, pinstripe. Yep. yeah okay and you notice most of your pastels as they age they're gonna lose some color let me see which pastel i'm gonna take out here's the pastel oh gosh she's angry so this is a pastel desert ghost female uh right around 18, 1900 grams. And you can see just single gene, pastel, and desert ghost. And it's maintaining all this color. It has, hasn't browned out one bit. It really um, amps up every project you put it into. I have not, at this point, I have not found one project that it cannot go into. It makes every project better. Um, the only downside that I've seen on this project that is so clean that in projects like yellow belly or in your darker granity type projects, mm -hmm. it doesn't show up very well. A uh, yellow belly desert ghost just doesn't show up well. However, it's such a strong ingredient for like uh, desert ghost super stripes or desert ghost highways because the desert ghost super stripe um, fireball has made a few and they're just phenomenal. And he has them at a thousand grams and they are super bright. Yeah. And you can imagine this is just pastel and desert ghost and all that color is retained. You know, yeah, that's so. an amazing pastel. <laughs> yeah, just pastel as it goes. Damn. It's really good quality stuff. Now I'm going to show you one of my favorite animals I have in my collection. So this is a leopard desert ghost. So you can see how desert ghost affects the darker genes. It makes all the blacks a solid jet and then the gold just stays really well. And you can see this animal is almost 800, 900 grams and the color just stayed the same. It did not fade, it didn't get 
you know, didn't stretch the pattern or anything like that, and it just kept it so bright. It's really awesome that the desert ghost can fight through something as strong as a leopard. Yeah, I mean, leopard is such a strong gene uh, to show up, you know, especially the darks in a leopard is so strong. But now to my stud breeder for the year. This will be the last one I show, I promise. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So this is my stud for the year. Wow. This is a Desert Ghost Pied. Let's get that piece of reptile chip in there. This is a Desert Ghost Pied. And you can see a lot of pies, especially when they get to a thousand grams, they hit that, that mark where it starts to turn brown on the sides. You can see this is just Desert Ghost and Pie. There's nothing else at play here. And it just kept them so gold. His head stamp stayed very bright. Um, so Man, that's great. Now can you imagine this into an orange dream desert ghost pied or Enchi desert ghost pied stuff like that, which we're we're shooting towards this year. I have a I have females that are already waiting for them. Um, they just need a little bit more size, and I'm gonna wait until about December to pair those girls. I so hopefully the, make some combos for this day. Desert ghost pies are gonna be. Everybody's focusing on putting like orange dream, everything that keeps mm -hmm. the amp the orange up in it. So yeah, you try. So the the problem with a lot of pies, which I'll, um, which I can show you. Let's see if she's shed yet. She's still in shed. She's still in shed. Good Lord, everything's in shed today. Um, she has just shed. So I've got a pretty piece of piece of shed here. Um, this animal has just shed, but you can see pied at about. 2,000 grams, 1,800 grams. You can see how dark this saddle is. Mm -hmm. um, even though they hatch out bright, this saddle eventually just keep turning darker and darker. And once they hit this size, that saddle is dark. So the reason everyone wants to do orange stream pies and all that is to prevent that. You're trying to prevent that saddle from getting dark. Um, it's like I showed the orange stream into yellow belly pie earlier. It'll prevent all that from, from browning out. And the desert ghost, I think even at 2,000 grams, will prevent all of that. Um, we did, we did film, let me grab one more animal. So this is an Enchi yellow belly pie. Yeah, got some cocoa. So you can imagine Enchi yellow belly pie, it hatches out great, but again, as it ages, a lot of these granity sides, uh, it still hold color very well, but I think the desert ghost will clean it off and prevent all this to turn brown and it'll keep almost a neon orange snake with the black pattern on top that's what i'm hoping for so hopefully we'll be able to see this into a desert ghost combo next year so that'll be awesome that'll be a very cool combo <laughs> so this is a sunset this is an adult female sunset um she's about 15 1600 grams uh she's already been bred uh, actually, I'm not holding this project a secret at all because it's kind of hard to hit. So I'd, I'd like it if someone else went in on this project and started working it too. I'm hoping to produce a desert ghost sunset pie. I knew you were going to see that. <laughs> yep. It's, a, it's the perfect combo. Oh, for yeah. sure. So the sunset hatched out so orange mm -hmm. and it's so gold and it's so orange, so beautiful. But as it ages, you can see how much of that color it's lost. It's, it's turning, you know, it's turned brown. Um, so I want to retain that baby sunset color and Desert Ghost is the best. I mean, I've saw, I've seen the hypo, the hypo is great. Um, Brock Wagner made the first hypo sunset and it's beautiful, but I think the Desert Ghost sunset will amp it up even more. Yeah. So I went ahead and made triple heads this year. Uh, oh, nice. she's starting to develop now triple and, heads, huh? uh, we'll make triple head Desert Ghost sunset pies out of her, hopefully, right? Wow. I can get about two males. That's an exciting project. Four females. <laughs> I'm not asking for much. Two males, four females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not asking for much. All right, so this here is a banana lesser sunset female. Um, so far, this actually is one of my favorite sunset combos because with banana, it can't brown out, so that helps. It helps the sunset out a lot. Here's my only concern with it so far is, so this snake's about 800 grams, 700 grams, and it, I've, it's already lost the orange sunset coat. Mm -hmm. And I think one way to fix that is to add cinnamon. Um, cinnamon seems to be one of the strongest influences for sunsets. So I think a cinnamon 
banana sunset or something like that. Cinnamon enchi banana sunset. Mm -hmm. Add calico. Wait a minute. We I... <laughs> can just start stacking them up. Stacking all the jeans. Okay, girl, get back in there. Like I said, I wanted to do banana sunsets. I thought that was gonna be a strong, a strong way to do it. So we decide why not go supers with everything. So this is a super banana sunset. Oh wow. Um, here's the problem. Banana is one of the palest projects you can get out there. It pales out all the color and it just reduced it all the way. So this animal has almost no color. You can see the sunset pattern right through, but not enough. Again, cinnamon, enchi, something like that. That's something dark, black pastel, GHI, something like that. I think it will shine right through it. Uh, we're using a male black pastel and she had sunset male this year so hopefully we'll make one of these into wow you're killing it on the freaking sunset stuff man thank you man just kind of kind of push it a little bit but uh yeah that's sunsets that's right guys we're doing what did you buy with bob from bob's balls i got it right i don't know how you did but <laughs> so he got to me i don't know what to he's uh <laughs> Been super, super nice to us and allowing us to do this fun thing with him. He, you know, kind of said the same deal. Like he's not, <laughs> he was like really worried about, uh, you know, making sure that it's a good, good animal and that we like it. And you know, for us, it's not about that. It's about just having fun with somebody and a friend and just saying, hey, this is just like a good time. You guys get to see, we get to see. And so again, we just gave him some money and we don't have any idea of what we bought. So that's the whole deal. So what did we buy? And uh, yeah, so Bob, you're on, like, All right. whatever you want to do. Look that way and I'll tell you guys what you All got. Alright, so we're, we're going to cover our eyes or something, I don't know. So, I'm really excited. We're going to try to guess what it is. <laughs> Alright, I'll get take a guess. We're first. super take good at this. We're super good at this. Usually it's take a guess once you see it. Oh, oh you take oh, a guess okay. after you I'm gonna it? Say, I'm going to say it's a sunset desert ghost. That's almost <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's a, uh, I'm hoping it's a snake. Yeah, let's go with It snake. is a ball python. I'm excited, ball right. python. Guys. Oh, man. What? So, what do you think we have here? Uh, it's definitely a clown. Yeah, it's definitely a clown. Which is surprising. Yeah. Surprising. Wow. Um, so, banana so, clown or corvo clown? All right, so this is a pastel banana clown female. Oh, snap. Uh, <laughs> since, since I got a tidbit information ahead of time that you guys were going to be growing out some female banana clown stuff, and that was oh gonna be inside your goodness. wheelhouse. Um, <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> but banana clown females are kind of rare and hard to come by. Uh, um, they are definitely rare. Dude, everybody <laughs> use male makers, so. That's unbelievable. This, this is uh, way more than I expected. Like, <laughs> unbelievable. I gotta go look at the account and see how much money that's such a <laughs> This is like, Holy this is cow. totally just like, what a what a great man! A great experience. This is so fun. That's yeah. beautiful. Man. That's unbelievable. Look a lot how of purple. purple. A lot of purple. I mean, this snake showed up so purple on oh the sides goodness. of it. Wow. Yeah. But banana clown females, in my opinion, guys, are gonna hold their value very oh, well. Oh yeah. Because um, everyone's making males, <laughs> so <laughs> clown females overall yeah. are gonna hold value. This female is wow. over 200 grams now. Um, that's crazy. No, I think you guys really enjoy growing around. Yeah, no, it definitely. This is unbelievable. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, thank yeah, you so thank much. Thank you guys. I appreciate yeah, it. Thanks, guys, for coming we're down. Gonna, we're definitely sending you more hats. So. <laughs> <laughs> if you need another black hat, yeah, we'll do that. We'll order it, don't worry. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is no unbelievable. So, and th that's not why we do this. I mean, it's not just to try to get really cool animals, but it's to have fun and just have fun with friends that yeah. you know, are super passionate about animals. and. Ball pythons, it's, it's I had a lot of fun guys. I had a lot of fun trying to guess what animal to <laughs> give you guys. Yeah. Um at first I was like, let's make it really fun and just give them something really weird. But yeah. then we're um, hoping for normal. So. <laughs> yeah, it's like a whole box of like 80 normal. <laughs> yeah. But then I thought about it, I was like, you know what, it should be something they can grow out and will work into their projects, into the wheelhouse, um, kind of go in line with what they're keeping. Not something they will sell next week because it's yeah, yeah, horrible. We, definitely, yeah. we, won't, we won't be selling this. We haven't sold any of the, what do we yeah. buy stuff? I mean, it's yeah. like sentimental, but unbelievable. I, <laughs> I wasn't sure like what was going to happen, you know? I mean, people always say, oh, what do you know? The real deal is what we're really trying to do is 
we say, hey, you know, do this deal with us, and you got to watch our videos to get, you know, know what we got, and then just really just ups our views. Yeah, it's really that's just, what it is. They're buying views. They're buying my views. views. <laughs> so, They're paying we, for my view. Yeah, Bob's views, views. That was Bob's views. That's yeah, tough. <laughs> I'm going to post this video on my YouTube yeah, too, and it yeah, doubles up the views. Exactly. <laughs> wow, man. Just blown away. Blown away. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, seeing Bob's collection. There's way more here to see than what we showed. So make sure you guys catch him at one of his shows. He goes to a bunch of shows. He's down in Georgia, so he goes to the surrounding areas. He does. Uh, do you, Are you going to Tinley this year? I will or? be in Tinley uh, March. March, and okay. Then, uh, Daytona, I'll be vending Daytona. Yeah. Um, and anywhere in the southeast, you'll catch me. Uh, Atlanta, if you can make it down to Atlanta shows, it's, yep. it's a great show. You can catch them in the club. You can do <laughs> Bob, no, <I'm> just <laughs> uh, So yeah, thank you guys. Follow him on Instagram, we'll link him below. And uh, he does have Facebook sometimes, it goes in and out, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> Stop reporting me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe to us, and hit that bell icon. Over there, you guys can uh, you know know when we post things. We really appreciate you guys watching, and hope you guys enjoyed it. We really appreciate Bob uh, letting us invade his space as well as doing the what did we buy, and um, just good friend. And you know this is great animals, and he just has some great stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, thanks guys for coming out. Thanks, thanks man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man. All right, Ryan, do the uh, do thing. your thing. <laughs>